Hello. In this tutorial, we will show you how to do a simple running or a simple continuous suture. So we start off with essentially the same way as a simple interrupted suture. So you take your bites across the wound at about the same distance from the wound edge on both sides. Pull up on the thread so that you get your short end and the long end. Identify the V in between and perform your instrument knot with the two rotations on the first tie. And then one rotation for the next two ties. And then you need to bring your knot towards you and this will help you continue your suture. Once you have done this, here is the place where there's a difference between a simple interrupted and a simple running stitch. In a simple interrupted stitch, we'd cut off both the ends, but for a continuous suture, we only cut out the short end. And then we'll use the remainder of the suture to run over the wound and close it. Now we take another bite, a few millimeters down the incision, in the same way as we take the first bite. So you go on both sides about the same distance from the wound edge, pull up on the thread and hold the thread for some tension. Ideally you'll have an assistant helping you pull up on the thread and maintain this tension but you also need to know how to do it by yourself and manage the thread because sometimes you won't have an assistant with you. Now we keep taking these bites in the same manner and covering up the wound about the same distance from the previous bites until we reach the end of our wound or incision. So again, we take a bite across the wound, about the same distance from the wound edge. But look here, I'd like you to show you a difference between a simple continuous and a lo running locking suture. You saw how it got tangled up a little bit. You need to remember to come out on the right side of the suture loop so that you don't make a running st uh, locking stitch. That is a different kind of suture and we will cover it in the next video. So uh, now I'm not gonna close the entire incision for the purpose of this video, but rather show you how to finish a simple running suture. What you need to do is use your last bite, make it into a loop, and this is going to act as your short end now Identify the V in between this loop or short end and your long end. And then you perform the instrument tie in the same way, starting with two rotation tie first. As such. And then two more ties with one rotation each, remembering to alternate your rotations your ties so that it sits down better and there we have it that's how you do a simple running or a simple continuous suture we'll catch you on the next tutorial